I don't want to moan, but at the moment the roads are a little bit cold and damp. We've been trying to get some exciting footage for you guys, but the conditions aren't helping. So we decided time for a bit more off-road adventure bike action. Now the thing is, I don't actually know what's in the van. I was told to meet Al from Bike World and Ollie here at our favourite off-road site and we're going to be doing some big bike off-road skids. So let's open the door, see what's in the transit. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Ducati mentioned to us a while ago that they've got a Multistrada V4S um, that they've prepped for some off-road abuse. Their exact words were, do what you like with it, it's built to be abused. So they've taken the standard V4S Multistrada, standard, the S model's already a special model, but they've kind of off-roadified it so you can get spoked wheels from Ducati's accessories catalog, engine bars on it, the hand guards, the big gnarly sump guard, and a set of knobbly tires. They look like sort of 50-50 half off-road, half road tires. But what we've got there is 170 horsepower <laughs> on knobbly tires. So that is gonna be an absolute beast. I've been dying to ride this since last year. And Ducati said to us that they've built it to be abused and thrashed off-road, and so far no one's taken them up on it, so my turn. These videos only happen because of the support and help from our sponsors. Support the companies that support us. I haven't actually ridden the V4 Multistrada yet. I've heard a lot of good things about it. <laughs> Straight away, it's pretty playful. <laughs> You know what? I always think you can tell quite a lot about a bike by the, the kind of first few yards of riding it. And this is a new sensation for me on a Multistrada. This thing feels supremely well balanced at low speed. The terrain I'm in here is horrible because these ruts are kind of baked hard and then with slime over the top and the bike's moving around all over the place and previous generations of Multistrada have always felt a little top heavy to me a little awkward in this stuff which as much as we like the big fast power slides the reality of adventure riding is there are days when the weather turns and your planned nice forestry road turns into slop like this and that can be in Europe, that can be in Alaska it can be in South America but this isn't unusual for a graded public road and unless you're some sort of Baja rally champion, it takes concentration and it, it's the stuff that puts people off off-roading, slop sliding around on this. And to pull a bike out of a van and ride straight down there that happily and calmly, to me, speaks volumes about it. <laughs> oh wow yeah that's got 170 horsepower i just went up that fire road <laughs> giggling like an idiot at how fast it is and now i'm gonna purr up and over all these banks in first gear that is really good that is the secret to a good adventure bike something that's got some speed and some noise for fun on the road but then when you stick it in somewhere snotty and awkward and difficult, it cossets the rider, it doesn't intimidate. But there's, you can see my tire mark where I spotted this trail earlier. I don't know where this one goes, genuinely. And I do know that there are some absolutely brutal tracks in these woods. So let's see how this 
gets on on a slimy mossy woodland track oh so far so good i think i'm gonna have to go round through these awkward striations <laughs> i might be stuck <laughs> and I have to say, good job Multistrada. <laughs> that was the best surprise motorcycle test I have ever done. <laughs> Thanks boys. So today the guys turned up, opened the van and in it was the Multistrada V4S. Ducati had off-roadified it for us. They'd mentioned it to me a couple of times. So it was really nice to finally have a crack on it. To be honest, my hopes weren't super high for its off-road prowess. I knew it'd work off-road. All the Motostradas recently have worked off-road, but they've never quite been that easy to get on with in tricky conditions. Today, it has been minging. We've been in a cloud since nine o'clock this morning. The ground is sodden, it's slimy. It's, it's not been a great day for exploring a big, fast, high horsepower bike. Yet somehow, this thing has made it really easy and really enjoyable. I got myself completely stuck in the woods, off sweating, puffing, pulling, but in a place that no large capacity adventure bike should ever be. And it kind of lapped it up. It made it as easy as it can be to get out of those situations with a big bike and then jump back on, bomb down the track and had another crack at it. I am really surprised, that's the overwhelming thing from this, I'm really surprised just how easy this Multistrada is to ride off-road compared to previous generations. Now each Multistrada has got better at that, from the very first one which Ducati categorically said we're not building an off-road adventure bike, so they built an adventure style bike with 17 inch wheels. Then they kind of, I think it was about 2017, they kicked in with the proper Enduro spec Multistrada. And then each year they've kind of chipped away at it and made it a bit better, a bit better, a bit better. And this sort of end of that line, the final iteration that we've got today, it's a real, real impressive bike. And within five minutes, felt easy and natural to ride. And I think that's the first time I've said that about a big capacity Ducati. The V4S, I've got to do some talking about it. It is 170 horsepower. 19 inch front wheel, 17 inch rear wheel. It's your kind of classic big grand touring adventure bike. It is a technological masterpiece really. All these big adventure bikes are now, but the Ducati, the technology on it is phenomenal. You've got front and rear radar, so you can use your cruise control and it will hold the distance to the car in front. Haven't used that here today. It's got blind spot detection. So if there's a car in your blind spot, it will warn you before you change lane. Didn't use that today either. It's got electronic suspension adjustment, which I did use today. I had a little play around with all the settings and got it a little bit stiffer to take some of the big jumps we were trying to do. It's also got off-road ABS, off-road traction control, and those settings I kind of played around with. The ABS on the front wheel worked brilliantly on the gravel and in the slop. It gives you the confidence to really nail that front brake when without the ABS, you'd probably be a bit more tentative on it. The traction control, I won't lie to you, I just turned it off. <laughs> I wanted to do massive power slides, but turned off, it works really well by doing nothing. <laughs> you can do huge skids everywhere. Now, one of the really critical things I think with adventure bikes, I don't think I'm alone on this, is the riding position. So once you've got the thing reasonably decent travel, you can get some knobbly tires on it. You need to be in a decent riding position to make the rest of off-road riding easy. If you're gonna ride standing up, you need to be somewhere where you can put your weight nicely through your feet. You've not got bits of bodywork splaying your legs out. You've not got center stands and things hitting your boots. And you need a set of nice wide bars that aren't too far forward, aren't too far back, aren't too high. There's a bit of a Goldilocks position where you can load your pegs and use the bars without ever feeling off balance. That's something that historically, that famous adventure bike with the sticky out engine has done really, really well, and it's made it perform a lot better than it might otherwise have done. Ducati have finally cracked it on this Multistrada. Really nice and slim across the seat, probably one of the best in class for that. And then a big wide set of bars in a really nice position. For me, I'm five, eight and a half on tiptoes. So for me, really nice riding position, and it made it excellent fun to do the tight technical riding on teensy wincy complaints especially if you've got bigger boots the exhaust is a little bit in the way of the right hand foot peg i'm a size nine and my foot was just about hitting it it didn't really bother me too much but there were marks on the exhaust one that surprised me the foot pegs i was hoping for a big wide flat plated enduro foot peg a little bit skinnier on this but they seem to work pretty well they were definitely grippy which for me is a big improvement over previous ducatis i've ridden off-road i really really thought that they got the 
fueling and the low speed control of this bike absolutely like it's one of the most shining bits of it obviously the 170 horsepower power slides are great but the fact that i could u-turn it on an off camber on slimy greasy terrain and just feel enough with the clutch to pull away without wheel spinning that really impressed me and that's something that again for all adventure riders makes life easier if the first time you've ridden off road the bike is snappy aggressive top heavy and hard to ride at low speed you're never going to build the confidence up to ride fast trails confidently so that low speed control is absolutely critical and Ducati have done a really good job on this bike. So obviously a couple of weeks ago we rode a 2017 Multistrada Enduro. In fact the man behind the camera that you guys can't see, the Bike World Director Al, it's his bike, he bought it. Um, so Al if you could cover your ears <laughs> because things have moved on a long way. Al's bike really surprised me with the level of technology you could get for the money from a five-year-old bike but yeah every now and then you ride bikes that are five years apart and don't feel like there's night and day difference this isn't one of those times. This thing is night and day better than the 2017 one. I'm really sorry, Al. <laughs> I can see tears, I can see tears. Maybe not in terms of outright performance, but definitely in terms of ease of riding, off-road performance, and the way it feels when you're riding it off-road. This thing is way easier to get on with, which then, whatever your limit or ability level is, it lets you push that and lets you be confident to try new things. Whereas the older one, for you to ride at anywhere near your limit, quite intimidating, because it was quite top heavy and hard work when you did overstep the mark or overbalance. This one, not so. Giant 170 horsepower pussycat. When you try and go a little bit more extreme, that's where it starts to come apart a bit. I never had any problems with balance or controlling the bike in that slow speed stuff. I ran out of ground clearance quite a few times and when I started hitting some faster jumps and, and hopping over stuff, it blew through the travel of the rear shock pretty quickly. Let's, let's remind ourselves, that doesn't say enduro on it. Ducati have never said this is their full killer death enduro machine, so we're outside the realms of what they've asked the bike to do. But unfortunately, in this guise, it kind of does a lot of stuff really well, which <laughs> eggs you on into trying that gnarlier stuff. You just have to be a little bit careful and aware of limitations of the amount of suspension travel this one does have. So the question then comes, is there gonna be an Enduro one out? Well, I'm not putting any money on it, but I'd be really surprised if Chicati didn't do an Enduro Multistrada. That, the way they do that is gonna be critical. If they fall into the trap of making it super tall, focusing on that high speed, aggressive off-road riding, and in doing so, cost it that low speed control and cost it that confidence building feel that this one has arguably this v4s specced up as shown is probably a better bet for most people hopefully and let's face it ducati do tend to know what they're doing hopefully when they do the enduro one they can get a bit more travel and a bit more control on those big hits but without costing that slow speed rideability so Fingers crossed, let's see what they come up with. So obviously we've been very narrow-minded with our testing today. We have been hooning around, we, I have been hooning around the forest. Al, poor Al's been sat in a puddle freezing all day. But yeah, been hooning this thing around the forest. This has just been an off-road test, an excuse to go nuts on a Multistrada. A bike that is that technologically advanced, has that much road and touring spec kit on it, has no right performing this well off-road. It's one of the greatest tricks modern adventure bikes pull, and this one pulls it as good as any. I now can't wait to get this thing out onto the tarmac and onto some big mileage crunching trips to see if they've managed to keep that side of it working just as well as it does in here in a snotty forest. So, Mr. Multistrada, we've had our muddy fun. I'm going to give you a wash now and then we're going to see if I can get my knee down. Eee.